Hi everyone, this is Yogesh and welcome back to the channel. So again, we are back with a new podcast video and today we have a special guest and her name is Simli Banerjee and uh, she is a final year student and she has cracked a six month internship offer from Google. So today we are going to talk about the internship, like how she has cracked this opportunity or like how many times she has rejection face, how many times she has applied or what is the process of our interview process. We are discuss this in this video mein, as well as she is going to share her suggestions as well. So, we are going to last the video because it is going to be informative. Wala hai. So, yeah, let's start this video. So, yeah, hi Seemly, how are you? Hi, I am good. What about you? Yeah, I am also good. That's nice. So, uh, our audience will give a brief introduction. Yes that uh, they can also uh, know about you. So, hi, I'm Simli. Uh, I'm incoming Google intern. I'm in my fourth year. I'm studying information technology from KGC West Bengal. I have interned with AP Molar Mercs. Uh, I am part of Google's Moment Technique Engineering Fellows. Here I was among the top 126 girls out of 15,000 plus applicants and I have received the scholarship of 2 lakhs from Google. Uh, I'm interested in data structures and algorithm. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. So it was a really nice introduction and like you have achieved a lot of things, right? That's amazing. So yeah, first of all, congratulations for uh, this internship as well. So um, let's move on to the next question that is the most important question which I wanted to highlight with my audience as well, that is how many times you have applied earlier, like before getting this Google offer, like how many times you have applied and what was your reaction towards the rejections which you have faced and how you managed to be motivated. So, yaar, madlab, ye hi common hota hai ki main apply to kar raho, rejection bhi aate rehte to tumne kitna bar apply kar hai aur kaise tum motivated rehti ho. So, yeah, go on. So from Google, I have received the rejection twice that in my second year and in my third year, uh, both the times I gave the interview and I got rejected. This is my third time appearing for Google interview and this time I got selected. Apart from this, I have applied in Amazon, Microsoft, uh, uh, Facebook, like Ladisha, uh, uh, Atlassian, like lots of companies in Qute. I think around I have applied 70, 80 times and in many i have received the oa and oa got rejected many in many i haven't received the oa link so that was there and but still every time i used to think in this way like the first time when in the second year when i got the rejection i used to think okay i'll apply for third year i'll prepare well and apply for third year. and third year i was saying okay apply apply next so this this the rejection is not like that you cannot apply further in that company there's always a chance that next time also uh, you will be appearing for the same interview there will be a cool down period of six months or nine months after six months and nine months nine months again you have the chance so that was there and we have this incredible community in the women tech maker and one of my google mentor once said that she got rejected from uh, google 14 times and from the facebook 16 times and after that she got the acceptance uh, from google as well as, as well as facebook and she decided to join google so that was very very motivating for me that actually you can you have you just have to keep on applying right to so just keep on trying Correct, correct, correct. So, uh, like, uh, audience, you can see that she has applied more than like 70 to 80 times. So, it's not about that you are applying to four to five companies and then if you're getting rejection, so yeah, apply nahi karna main, like, I'm not capable enough. So, asa nahi sojna, you have to apply, like, apply, karte rao, job na lag jai, right? So, you, are not, you should not be demotivated, apply, karte rana chahiye, right? So, yeah, this was run nice. Let's move on to the next question. That is how you came across this Google opening. So like uh, it was LinkedIn, referral from job portal. Yeah, you can go on. So I am very active on LinkedIn. So if you are active on LinkedIn, you will get the notification or you'll see somewhere some people posting or some page posting about the different openings. So from somewhere there only I got to know about this, that Google has the opening. I applied through the career pa page through referral. So with I took the uh, Google referral and applied to the career page. And yes, I received the interview call. 
so in google it is a little different like according to the profile they can fast track your uh, application so like previous year i gave actually three rounds one was telephonic round and two interviews this year i gave two rounds so google can take your two to three dsa rounds according to your performance so if there are few hiccups in your first or second interview they will uh, schedule a third interview so in my case it was two it was two interviews only okay that's nice so uh, yeah so i guess uh, it was really nice that uh, you got the offer so like let's move on to the next question that is let's discuss the complete hiring process like how many rounds were there in this round as well as if you have given any online assessment or not if you have given interviews then how many interviews you have given and what kind of difficulty level so yeah we can discuss this so go on so for, uh, first thing is that after applying to the career portal you may receive the oiling or there might be a telephonic interview round of 15 20 minutes so that i am speaking about google so that two things might be or you your pro, your profile will be fast tracked and directly you will get the interview inviting that depends on your profile so that will happen and in the interview it is uh, the dsa interview google interviews are very very standard dsa interview they normally ask dsa interviews and that's of the type medium to hard lead code medium to hard level so in google interviews are like this you will be given a question so they will start with not a basic but a medium level it depends on the interview and there will be lots of follow up questions so in the follow up question they might ask you to reduce the time complexity or they will change the constraint so this is how a google interview goes that there is a question and there will be many follow up questions on that so my and my second my first interview was from lead code medium to hard my second interview was hard lead code hard question okay. so, so it was like this in, so in your case like you did didn't give any online assessment like it was fast track and directly you gave the interviews that is the two rounds right nice yeah. and both were dsa based so any projects were asked or other any uh, core subjects and all uh no actually not in google interview the uh, like they can ask you about an intro that would be of 5 uh, 5 to 7 5 to 7 minutes and after that they will uh, jump into the question nice nice so like you told that in the first round you were having medium to hard level problems and in second round you were having like approx to hard level problems so like you can see like what kind of topics were asked in the uh, dsa rounds in your case ah uh, so i have heard and i have seen this as well that google's favorite is graphs and dp so in my first interview it was the graph traversal so uh, graph traversal priority queue and heaps that was asked and in my second interview it was recursion backtracking uh, it was recursion back backtracking um, little bit of graph was also involved but uh, but previously when i gave the interview it was dp as well so if your dp is good graphs are good then uh, you are good enough actually they they normally ask this like correct so like i have heard in, like in the recent like in this times like i have heard that amazon or google like all these companies are generally focusing more on like graphs and dp so if you are like if you having good understanding of these two topics then i guess you will be able to crack any companies so like i have seen lots of students start with array string they are motivated but when they uh, like they when they come towards graph their graph <laughs> uh, unka graph niche jane lagta hai and they like keep this topic so like what i will suggest is that don't leave this topics because these two of topics are most important and like maximum companies push the so you should cover these two topics for the interviews right so yeah it was like it was really amazing that uh, you were able to clear the both rounds and you have cracked the uh, offer that's amazing so like uh, before wrapping up this uh, video uh, if do you want to give any suggestions or tips to our audience like as you have completed your engineering like you are in final year but the whole journey was there right uh, for this uh, uh, google success right so any suggestions for the audience you you want to share uh, to crack the uh... crack uh, companies or product based company i would say practice practice and practice so that will be my first thing that practice is very important don't give up just keep on practicing if you are targeting google 
try dsa problems try medium to hard level dsa problems um if you are cracking for some other companies like intuit is there amazon or microsoft they ask fun- computer fundamentals as well so prepare your computer fundamentals also those are very those are very important as well so that you do so if you are uh, make good projects we have i have projects in my profile as well and those were group projects so if you are making a group project then uh, it's good like it shows your teamwork so make group projects or a solo project if you can try to do internships i did the six month internship in ap molar mercs like before getting the google offer so try to do internship because you will get real time exposure from this so yeah. internships are important so yeah that's amazing that's amazing yeah and try to try to join some community as well because like i was in the google's women tech maker community the community was incredible so you keep up your spirit so it's important to involve get involved in some communities and to help people other other people right 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 so yeah those were really amazing uh, suggestions for the audience so yeah this was the complete video like i guess bahut kuch tumhe samajh aaya hoga is video se pura complete uh, process hiring process samajh aaya hoga ki google ka internship ke liye kaisa hota hai and i guess um, sab kuch samajh aa gaya hoga so if you watch the video till here then please give a like in this video aur is tarah ki podcast wali video mein aur laate rahenge in the future so that's it let's meet in some another video tab tak ke liye bye guys bye